Hey Dan. Hey Aaron. Have you ever have you ever uh, been with a girl who is like that girl? You know the girl who's like, yeah, 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 oh yeah, baby. Like that. Like during sex oh, or just so good. just in general? Just, <laughs> just like while she's enjoying a particularly good piece of pizza. Yeah, I love this pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Give me more, more. I I have been with some girls who have said some crazy things. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to like betray too much. But like. But here goes. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Well, I won't. I will say that I I struggle. I struggle with girls who want to be hit. Oh, yeah. You know? Like, and some girls do. But, yeah, I... Maybe... Oh, God, maybe I did say this on the show. I was with a girl one time, and we were making sweet love, and, uh... As opposed to sour love. No, I don't... Which nobody likes. I don't believe in that. That's if you let the love sit out for an extra Yeah, days. yeah, that love will curdle. Um, but she was like, slap me in the face! And I was like, I... No, I don't want to. It's just do it, you fucking pussy. And I was like, ah! <laughs> ah. I gave her like the the wussiest like little tap on the cheek, and she's like, oh, fine, I'll do it myself. And then she fucking wailed on herself. I was like, wow, well, well, okay. some people like that kind of stuff. It's like, hey, and I'm not, there's no judgment. It's uh, you just can't personally do it. I wouldn't say I can't. If if I if I think if. If I know that the girl really wants it and it will make her the happiest, I could probably bring myself to do it. But like, um, it's, it's certainly not my default setting. Mm -hmm. You don't go in and immediately just go like, ah, and start like, <laughs> like flailing away like Andy Kaufman when he's, just <laughs> you know, he does like the wheel, the wheel punches. Yeah, Ge <laughs> yeah. Generally, after a, a girl and I kiss for the first time. I like to just reel back and pick up a vase and throw it out the window, just as an exclamation of the rage that <laughs> lives inside me. Did I ever tell you the story of why I think, well, one of my many stories of why I think black people are fucking awesome? Yeah, why? Uh, the, uh, the diner scene, the girl I was in love with at the diner. Did I ever tell you this? Alright. When I lived in Philadelphia, there was, uh, there was this place called the Silk City Diner, and there was a girl who worked there. And I just had like a crazy crush on her, but um, just it was a place I went all the time, and like all the other people at the diner knew me, so it was like kind of tough to like hit on her, you know. And like I just, I just wanted it to be perfect, you know. Like I just, I, I liked her so much that I, I, I would just see her all the time, and like I just couldn't ask her out for whatever reason. And th this is many, many years ago already, and uh, so I'm like thinking up. Every time I see her, I'm like, I'm gonna do it today, and then I'm like, no, I can't do it. And, uh, I'm like imagining, like, 80s movie-style scenarios where I can drop my book and she helps me pick it up and, like, <laughs> our, our hands touch and our eyes lock for a second. Yeah. Like, that kind of thing. And, um, and then, like, one day I was finally like, you know what, I'm gonna do it pretty soon. You know, I was just getting closer and closer. <laughs> and this black dude just, like, came in and was like, yo, you got a boyfriend? She was like... No. It's like, you want to go out? She was like, yeah. I was like, that can fucking happen? <laughs> you can just do that? <laughs> oh. But, I mean, <laughs> culturally, like, that is apparently, like, uh, a black thing to do. Like, just fucking have a pair of balls. <laughs> yeah. And just do it. And just go for have it. a pair. Yeah, just go for it. And I was like, god damn it. They're, they're black people yeah. are so awesome. Yeah, that is very admirable. Yeah, so so now I just do it. That, that like, sheer confidence. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I, I will ask girls out now for, you know, with no warning. <laughs> just do it. Yo, you yeah. got a boyfriend? Yeah. Oh no, what's step two? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, I'm sure if she'd said yes, he would have been like, uh, fucking, let's go out anyway. Yeah, yeah. so? <laughs> yeah. He don't have to know. Oh, don't he? <laughs> don't he ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, like, honestly, like, that's, um, yeah, and I mean, you get rejected sometimes, like, because nobody, there's nobody who's, like, everybody's type, you know? But like, fuck it. Like that, getting rejected is the worst thing that can happen. And sorry, who gives a shit? You just, yeah, seriously. Yeah, he just press on. Plenty you get of rejected. It's like, well, no, I don't have to waste my time. Yeah, exactly. Like now I know what would have happened. Cause like it's always, and this is a cliche, but it's true. It's always the stuff that you don't do that you regret. Like, oh yeah, the stuff that you try and it doesn't work out. Like it stings in the moment, but later you're like, ah, eh, fuck it. 
You know, like, I found out what would have happened. So that's what was gonna happen anyway. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I agree. Little life tips from the grumps. Yeah, anything anything that makes for a good story, I think is... Oh, totally. And that's the other thing that, like, is true. Like, it definitely, uh... The stuff that... Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, wow, you gotta film... You gotta clear that whole goddamn thing. Yeah. Um, the stuff... The weird thing about, like, getting older is that, like, the stuff that makes you laugh in the moment can sometimes make you cry later, like, out of nostalgia. And the stuff that makes you cry in the moment always makes you laugh. Because you're like, I was so fucking stupid! <laughs> wow. Does that- isn't that deep? Did I just blow your goddamn mind while you're cleaning paint off Serena Beach? That was so deep, I drowned in it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do a little thought experiment. I'd love that. What is the difference between a pleasure moan and a pain moan? Like, sound-wise. Um... Like, if I went like... <laughs> what is that to you? What does that sound like? I, it's very hard to know because, like, everyone has, like, their own... You know... Their own sexy faces and their own sexy sounds. You know? I, I've, I've been with girls who, like, at their most pleasured moment look like they're in horrible pain. Oh! Yeah, and I'm like, are you okay? And they're like, don't stop! What the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, oh, sorry, I thought you were really having a terrible time. <laughs> How am I to know? Yeah. No, I was, I was, I was with a girl one time, and she just fucking unloaded on me, just like, like, reeled back and, and cracked me across the face. I was like, fucking ow! <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, take it, take it. I'm like, what am I gonna- Of course I'm gonna take it! I'm not gonna hit you back! Take like, it. You already hit me! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> That's <what> I... Ow! Like, <laughs> <laughs> do the fucking super kid thing. Yeah. Dude! No, stuck. No! <laughs> what if I was just like. You just start crying. <laughs> Take it back! She's like, no, no Braxies. <laughs> Do you hate me? <laughs> Why would you slap me if you like me? <laughs> oh man, that girl was crazy. That's cool. It was fun. I'm happy for you. Thanks. What was her full name? <laughs> <laughs> Reginald P. Tinklebottoms. <laughs> uh, th this is gonna shock you. I did not have a girlfriend when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, Dan, you're I know. breaking my heart! <laughs> Blowing my mind! I, actually, my first date, uh, was when I was 13. I went, <laughs> oh my god, I went on a date with this girl named Jody, and we went, uh, roller skating. Jody is such a first date. I, isn't it? Isn't it? And, uh, oh, Jody. Jody. <laughs> it, I, uh, f first of all, let me clear something up because I'm going to catch flack if I say it accidentally. I grew up in New Jersey. When I said I grew up in New York during the Mike Tyson thing, uh, I meant I grew up in the New York area and I just like didn't complete the thought. But I grew up in Jersey, like right near New York, uh, New York City. And um, so in Jersey, there's not many things to do. So uh, in Jersey, there weren't many things to do, like as far as like, just like how in Heat Man, there's <laughs> fucking barely anything to do other than hop on blocks. <laughs> Go ahead with your story. <laughs> so there was this girl named Jody, and um, I went on a date with her when we were 13, and so we went roller skating together. And here's a fun fact about going on dates that I didn't know. Uh -huh. uh, when you go on a date with a girl. You should spend time with the girl. <laughs> but I didn't know that. So uh, our date was pretty much um, like the, the roller skating rink that we went to uh, had like video games on the side. So it was me playing the arcade game of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 while Jody roller skated by herself in semicircles around the... <laughs> Oh god, that is sad. Yeah, it's super sad. But I will say that the cool thing about going on dates when you're 13 is that the girls don't know what a good date is either. So after that, like, we hugged at the end, you know, and I got um, a note from her the next day in math class with, like, little hearts for all the eyes saying, like, like, I'm so glad we went on that date. It was... It yeah, was... all she knows is that she knows she went on a date. Yeah, yeah, she was like, that was the best date I ever went on. It was super fun. And then we went, never went on another date, and uh, she gave my friend a handjob. Uh, 
<laughs> At 13? No, 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 this was years okay. later. I'm just, I'm just finishing, <laughs> finishing the arc of my history with this girl. And then, yeah, we all went uh, to Wildwood, which is where you go uh, for, um, like, spring break in New Jersey. And, uh, yeah, she gave my best friend a handjob. Good times. Just young love. Yeah. Young love. Just so many special memories of betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. I'm glad you shared your story. Yeah. You know, that was actually the first, like, compliment I got from, like, a random girl. What, that you've got a black girl booty? No, that somebody was, like, I was just, it was a girl at a fucking... There you go. A girl at a hot dog on a stick, and she was cute. Uh-huh. And I got one, this is a long time ago. Okay. I got one, and I was walking away, and she was like, You got a nice butt! And I was like, Really? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Neat. This is awesome. I love it. I'd never gotten compliments from girls like that before. That shit really does stick with you. Yeah. Uh, a girl of African-American descent once in Philadelphia, um, she was like, really forward. She was like, you're beautiful. Do you have a girlfriend? And I was like, oh, and I did at the time. And I was just like, oh, I want to say no. <laughs> but I, I was like, yeah, I do. But thank you. And I never forgot. And then the girlfriend and I broke up, like, a week later, and I was like, WHY COULDN'T YOU HAVE BROKEN UP WITH ME BEFORE THE FUCKING BLACK GIRL LIKED ME? <laughs> <laughs> because I've still never gotten to be with a black girl. Oh. And I've been told... The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Oh, what? Yeah. I've heard once you go black, you never go back. I know that's true, because, uh, I'm, you know, I'm of a different descent, and it's... Once you go Jewish, there's a 40 to 45% chance that you never go back. <laughs> but that's actually being pretty generous. Uh, once you go Jewish, you enjoy... Anyway, <laughs> hang, hang out with my girl back home. Pretty. She making me macaroni and cheese, bro. I'm gonna go back, she's gonna make me a sandwich, and I'm gonna be like, mm, that's a great lunch, girl. <laughs> And then we're gonna have like a day fuck, and then I'm gonna leave. Oh, a day fuck. Yeah. Those are nice. Yeah, where you're just kind of like, oh, I didn't expect this, alright. Yeah. Hey, well, this is happening. <laughs> and then you're just kind of like, yay, it's for the rest of the day. It's four in the day. afternoon, and my penis is inside somebody. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> you're just having like a dialogue with yourself, <laughs> out loud. Yeah, she's like, could you stop talking? <laughs> <laughs> huh, this is great! Are you kidding me with this? <laughs> Neato! I remember the first time I ever, like, played hooky from school. Um, you got laid? No, oh. I what I, oh, I I didn't get laid until after college. Oh, I was right. I was twenty three, but I do I I did get that sweet blowy. Oh, um, and I just remember like, sweet, I remember getting a blowjob in like junior of high school or whatever, and like, uh, because my girlfriend at the time was sick, and uh, I was like, I'll I'll play hooky and. And skip school and go bring her like soup or something. She was like, "Ah, oh, soup!" <laughs> and I, so I was, uh, I was receiving fellatio from her, and looking at the clock and seeing that it was like one thirty in the afternoon, and thinking like, "Wow, my friends are in class right now. <laughs> this is the best." <laughs> oh, I was very checked out towards the end of high school. Where'd you get that fucking metal, Daniels? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Same place you got your friendship bracelet, Sonic. <laughs> Who's that from? <laughs> <laughs> Some bitch. <laughs> you told me you'd tell me every woman you talk to. Oh, God. Ugh, you're so lucky Susie's not the jealous type. Oh, yeah, totally. I, uh, I had one girlfriend who, like, would just flip her mind apart when, like, uh, I, I, I remember like one time I just went to order coffee at Starbucks and the girl behind the counter is like Do you like she's just asking me the normal questions like cream or sugar or whatever like um, And I'm just talking to her like that and I come back and my girlfriend uh, is just like Do you like her don't you I saw that I am like what 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 are you possibly talking about? <laughs> Oh, that's like immediate like grounds for. Oh all right, yeah, maybe yeah. we well, should. Take well, I was a break. super. I was yeah. Maybe we should take a break. <laughs> yeah, by take a break, do you mean forever? <laughs> yeah, because I do. I mean break it off completely. Yeah. yeah. 
Maybe we should yeah. break me off a piece of that Kit yeah. Kat bar. You never forget the first kiss of a woman. You never forget the first piss in your panties. Oh what? shit. How old were you when you got your first kiss? If you don't mind uh, me asking. I don't even remember what my first kiss was. Really? Yep. I was 17. I think it was a girl. I would assume it was. Why would you assume that? I don't know. Because that's what you're into? Yeah. <laughs> I know you like dags. You kiss your dag. I can go both ways. <laughs> Fair if enough. I wants to kiss me. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. I, I just remember all I remember about uh, my first kiss is like, I was out with two girls who were friends, and one like they just clearly like planned it out, and like one like, we were all on the porch, and the other the one was like, well, I'll see you guys later, and she just bolted like super fast, or like I'm gonna start the car or something like that. I was like, okay, that that's weird. I was like, <laughs> well, good night. And uh, she kissed me, and I just remember like my heart like exploding out of my chest. I was like, ha, ah! cool. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, I think I think we kissed a second time because I was like, can we do that again? <laughs> it's like just so like <laughs> floored. Oh, neat, cool. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that's probably how I was too. Yeah, but I was just kind of like, whoa. It's a big deal at the time. Yeah. Because, like, movies make it seem like it's this big fucking thing. Right. It's not, man. I fucking kiss my wife every fucking day. Right. And feel nothing. Because I- <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say because I love her. Okay. Uh, but yeah, sure. Your thing too, I guess. Uh, 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 oh. What? This is a good time for a story. Mm-hmm. This is a classic tale. So... Um... As we've said before, mm -hmm. it's very ironic that I play a character who's like the world's fucking sexiest lover and like all about the ladies, which is also true. I mean, like in real life, like didn't didn't we make that statement like the the line between actual me and Danny Sexbang is fucking getting thinner and thinner by the day. Mm -hmm. It is it, it, it yeah. So but I got off to a slow start. I was a bit of a late bloomer. And, um, so yeah, uh, I was a virgin until I was 23. Because I was in love with one girl and it didn't- Get out of yeah, town! It... Get right the fuck out of town! I was waiting- Take a goddamn train out of town! I was gonna- I know, I was, I was letting you- <laughs> I was letting you that time. Okay. I was, um, I was waiting for this one girl who I was super in love with and it, it didn't end up happening. Um, so- she got married when I was like 21, maybe, mm -hmm. and uh, and so I like had one year of just like super depression. I was like, oh, I listen to Radiohead all the time, draw the shades closed. But then I had <laughs> another year where I had just bit a virgin and I felt ready to. I was just like, get this thing out of me, you know, like I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> like a fuck, like aliens. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, um, my friend, uh, I don't know if I should use the real names. Let's say my friend Brendan, um, was dating a girl, uh, this was when I was living in North Jersey, and he was dating a girl, uh, who worked at a strip club just outside of Philadelphia, so about two hours away. Mm -hmm. And, um, I, he, he doesn't have a license, so, um, it was at a time in my life when I was a heavy pot smoker, and he was like, how about this? Um, I will buy you weed if you will drive me down uh, to see my girlfriend at the strip club. Did I mention she was a stripper? Yes. Okay, good. Yes, you did. Yes. So, we would do this. We would... I would, I would roll, roll up a joint or something, and we would take these, like, stony rides down to, um, down to the strip club in, in South Jersey, right outside of Philly. And, uh, you know, we just hang out and talk, and I, then when we got there, he would, um, god, they're so disturbing when they're huge like that. <laughs> um. Won't be huge for long, son. Yeah. He would go, uh, and spend time with her in the champagne room, where the romance happens. Uh -huh. And I would just, like, hang out at the bar, and drink Cokes and watch TV or whatever, and, um... 
didn't know you were into Coke, dude. No. I you were into weed. But... Delicious Cokes. Delicious Coca-Colas. Oh. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a hard drug guy. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> so, I would just hang out there for, like, hours, um, and, like, watch TV or whatever, and, like, talk to the dancers. Because, like, they would come around, and they'd be like, do you want a lap dance? And I was like, oh, no thanks, and, you know, like, after doing that for, like, three weeks, they were like, why are you here? <laughs> and then, like, we just started talking, and, like, we became friends. Uh, and it was kind of fucked up, actually, because they were like, you're so nice and respectful. Like, you never try to grab us or anything. I was like, I think you need to create a higher floor standard of what you consider respectful. <laughs> um, but, like, so one of them... Uh, was named Gemini. Possibly not her real name. And, um... <laughs> and, uh, I, I think you, you need to rethink your standards on per people's names. Yeah, you're possibly right. Because that's, that's offensive. That's just, <laughs> that's just downright After offensive. the Freebert debacle of yeah, 1996. That's, that's fucked up, man. I agree. I agree. Um, so she, uh... So we, she, she became my best friend there, and we talked for a while. And then just one day... She was like, do you want to go in the back room and have sex? And I was like, what? Uh, uh, what? What? <laughs> so, that, that can happen? And I had like, you know, I was high at the time and like, I just really had like this moment of like, oh my God. Well, you were high your first time? No, no, I didn't do it. I didn't oh, do it. Oh. Um, I was high when I was debating whether or not to do it. And I just couldn't, <laughs> yeah. That's funny, because I can imagine you, like, somebody being like, You said no? What are you, high? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, actually, I was. As a matter of fact, I was extremely high, thank you. <laughs> well, no, I mean, she was, she was really nice, and she was pretty, but, like, I couldn't... Listen, <laughs> when you wait that long to have sex, you're like, fuck. It, at this point, it really might as well be with someone special you know okay and uh she was special she, she was she was my friend she yeah was friend. but uh she said you were sweet and kind well my fear was realized because i i told her no thank you um like i just wanted to get to know her better and she was like whatever you know she just like <laughs> she just didn't care um and then i went back the next week when i drove brendan uh sorry barry make that brendan <laughs> uh, where I drove Brendan there, and um, and uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I, I I was like, where's Gemini? And the bartender was like, oh, uh, she's not working here anymore. And I was like, really? That's kind of abrupt. And they were like, yeah, she was arrested for prostitution. <laughs> oh. And I was like, oh, okay. So, and that was my other secret fear, like. I didn't know she was a prostitute, but, like, you never want to run the risk of your first time, like, you finish, and, like, you're just lying there, and you're like, ah, oh, that was so awesome, and then the girl, like, rolls over, and she's like, that'll be $500, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to run the risk of your first time also being your last time. Yeah! Oh, solid point. Because your your wiener itches too much right. to yes. put it anywhere else. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of dick safety precautions that a young man must take uh, out of respect for his future partners. Mm -hmm. um, so I waited, and my first time ended up being with uh, a good friend of mine, and she was awesome, and that was awesome, and I'm glad. And uh, and then and and so that's my that's my tale. And yeah, Gemini turned out not to be her real name. It was Antoinette. <laughs> Wow, you yeah. wouldn't think. Yeah, go figure. You but think. that was my Gemini story. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you for sharing. That's a very personal story. I know I've talked about this on Grumps before, but I asked, uh... oh, nicely done. I asked a girlfriend one time, like, uh, what she thought the hottest and least hot words for male and female genitalia are and she she felt that cock and pussy were the two sexiest yeah um and i offered that the least sexy are probably 
tube steak and snatch. <laughs> snatch. Yo. Uh. Yo, girl. Is your snatch ready for my fucking awesome rockin' tube steak? <laughs> Next time on Game Grumps, um... Try to... Try to cool down. Try to use these next 24 hours to to cool yourself yeah, down cold because shower, man. yeah, you're probably too fucking worked up and hot from listening Damn. to us talk about that. Tube snake. Tube steak, Aaron. Please, don't fucking don't crispify the sanctity of tube steak. Steak and shake. Did I ever tell you I got invited to an orgy one time? <laughs> Did I not tell you this? <laughs> I don't- I, is this a Game Grumps appropriate story? I- I guess? I guess it is. I didn't do it. Alright, so... The story is, I had, um... I had two friends, and they were a lesbian couple. Uh, let's... Let's call them Michelle and Janine, to protect the innocent. Okay. And, um... They were actually called Blushelle and Menine. Blushelle and Menine, yeah. <laughs> you've found- you've cracked the code! <laughs> um, but they were, uh, they were my good friends, and they were just beautiful. Um... And, uh, they were a couple, and of course, when you're a guy and you have a couple of, like, lesbian girlfriends, even though you know they're not into dudes at all, you're always secretly hoping, like, Maybe I will be the guy who will be invited into the threesome. <laughs> like, the threesome that they're not having, you know? <laughs> and never will. Yeah, of course. But so, oh man, what a beautiful, cloudy background to tell this orgy story to. Yep. So one day I was just hanging out at their place and the three of us are on the couch together and uh, we're just playing video games or whatever. And uh... Ah, shit! Yeah. Oh, there it goes, there it go. And Janine uh, puts her hand on my leg out of nowhere and she's like, Dan, uh, we have a proposition for you. And I was like, <laughs> Go on! <laughs> Shit. Damn it! Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Damn it. Um, so what? The, your head, inside your head, there's like fireworks and shit going yeah, on. Yeah, like yeah. Outside, I was like, oh, do tell. But on the inside, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what it turned out to be was they were swingers and they were part of this like underground orgy club of like these people in New York, they would get together and so I got invited into a 25 person orgy where the breakdown was six dudes and 19 girls. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know, I'm gonna do some quick math. That's something like 3.2 girls for every dude. <laughs> and that's like, that's a lot of pressure. That's a <laughs> yeah. lot of pressure. You gotta, you gotta really fucking you gotta cross train for shit like that. So I didn't end up doing it uh, for a couple of reasons. One because like uh, because of because of that, and also because I couldn't help. I don't want gonorrhoeopsyphilis, you oh, know. Yeah. And like I can't assume that fucking everyone else at that orgy is having their first orgy, you know. Like oh, it's got it's got to be it, like if you if you like combined everyone's sexual history together, there have to be like 1,000 boning cases in that one room, <laughs> which is gross. But the funny part was that, that I wanted to bring up was they made me like fill out like uh, a form card, like that, like a power, you had to write a paragraph, like you had to submit a headshot so you were attractive enough to do it. And then like, Jesus. Uh, I know, it was really official. High standards. I know. And then um, you had to fill out like a, like a little card saying why you wanted to be in the orgy. Like, <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know, this is really hard for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh gosh. Yeah, it's like that. It's like, uh, you know, the comedian Hannibal Burris? Mm -mm. He's a really great comedian, but he has a joke where he talks about like, uh, like he, he, he applied to work oh at Starbucks God. and, um, and like one of the things he had to fill out to work at Starbucks was, uh, why do you want to work at Starbucks? <laughs> and so he wrote out, because shit isn't working out the way I thought it would. <laughs> Kidney stones are like a grain of sand, basically. It's, and and women gotta fucking crank out a whole baby. A whole fat baby. Yeah, but... Yeah, but Dan... 
My yeah, penis I know. is really tiny. I know. They have a goop shoot instead of a pork sword. I know. <laughs> goop shoot. I took sex ed class. <laughs> goop shoot, dude. Yeah. Killing me with a goop shoot. <laughs> the stage is so huge, like every jump that you take is a leap of faith. I had a girlfriend say that to me. What? She was like, I'm opening up the goop shoot to make room for the pork sword. And I was like, Oh, I like you. <laughs> you get me. 